What's up, nerdlings? What is up, nerdlings? Do you nerd for tea time? Hmm, I'm traveling. Hey, nerdlings. Linda, aka the Gamer Girl, here. And the real question is do you nerd for Tom and Lacey? Booyah! Hey, what's that? Let's take a look. It's time for a closer up. Yes, that's right. Wait, what? Seriously, what are we talking about? I'm talking about traveling and tea. Okay. Well, we've been doing a lot of traveling lately, and so I've been getting a few items to help us travel a little easier and lighter. And I came across this really neat little contraption here. It's just this little flat teapot, but then you pull it all the way up like so. So nice and collapsible. Take cool. the handle off from the sideways insert like so put your lid on and you got a teapot okay that's that's Isn't kind that of pretty neat. cute so on the bottom is the warmer mm -hmm. that, that you'll plug in right so you just plug right into there yep. and so you're not even putting it on anything it's it's its own unit yep and it's about a two cup teapot heat up your water whatever the thing that i thought that was really neat about this i was like well this is super cute but we don't really do tea here in America. That's, that's true. So I was starting to think, well, you know, what, what else can you do with a teapot? So we did what any logical person would do. We asked our brethren over across the pond in the UK, you guys like tea so much. What do you do with these things? And yes, travel uh, kettles are essential because if you ever go to a hotel and there isn't a kettle, it's like the worst thing in the world. Uh, you can use a kettle to fill your hot water bottle, uh, to unblock drains, to kill ants, to disinfect your sink. Hey up old chaps. Uh, in England, everyone has a tea kettle in their house, but that is one nifty tea kettle right there. I like it. I like it a lot. You can stop pesky burglars as they're trying to get through your windows. Just stand upstairs and pour it on top of them. Well, I suggest you take that kettle and you fill it with kerosene. Then you find some FIFA games. You cover the <laughs> FIFA games in kerosene. She ruined it! <laughs> you use a match and you set fire to the FIFA games. It's very practical and you haven't got to drink any tea, which we all know is minging. Your water can be much quicker to boil in temperature when you want to boil potatoes or boil an egg. You don't have to wait for it to heat up on the stove, which takes a lot longer. What can't you do with that? I've got so many ideas in my head going. I can make tea, I can make coffee, I can make some sweet spice cider. I can make some amazing Maruchan spiced ramen, shrimp flavor, beef, chicken. So many good things. Macaroni and cheese cups, Velveeta. Oh my gosh, the things are endless. And then when I'm done, I can heat up the water and I can do my dishes with the boiling water from the tea kettle. It's one of the greatest inventions of all time. and I think we all need one in our house. Any of these kind of, you know, cold remedies that, you know, your hot drink, cold remedies. Um, use the kettle every day for so many different things. And it's funny when you guys talk about not having one, I'm always like, what do you guys do? Do you like, do you do old school stuff? It's a weed killer. You can use it to defrost food. You can use it to defrost your front windscreen. Um, you can use it on some stains. Ah, baby, you're a baby. <laughs> so I guess what we're saying is, is that it's the Swiss Army knife of water utensils. Absolutely, and don't forget when you filled your kiddies' paddling pool with that ice cold water from the uh, outside tap, you can then use the hot water, boiling hot water, to mediate it to a bit more of a uh, comfortable temperature. Well, as a red-blooded American who loves his southern-style sweet tea, cold with ice cubes, all right, all right, they've they've kind of sold me that apparently this is more than just a teapot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, kind of makes me glad I actually did get it after all. I will say I think my favorite was the uh, the uh, put hot water on it and pour it on your burglar who's trying to burgle your house. Someone <laughs> must have left Stab <laughs> Home Alone once. Yeah. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!
it's really cute and it's really convenient and super collapsible. So, and it actually doesn't weigh that much. So I'm, I'm pretty impressed with one of these little guys. To be fair, in all honesty, as silly as all of this was, it is nice to know that there are great small travel contraptions like this, because if you are going to a lot of conventions or just doing a lot of traveling, spending a lot of time out on the road, having stuff like this is really, really awesome. You don't always have access to stuff like this in your hotel room. Mm -hmm. Not everyone wants to uh, make their tea with whatever coffee pot they have in the room and a lot of the rooms that we've stayed in have done away with coffee they have. pots They're for kind like, of more going to like cups and stuff, and stuff yeah. like that yeah so something like this is great and it's just a good reminder that you can have all the comforts of home no matter which side of the pond you're on in a nice easy to carry transportable way yep well you could um you could boil your eggs in there no tom not those eggs <laughs> So basically anything that you want some hot boiling water for that you can't always get. And you even like the color. I even like the color. And I even like the color. All right, well, nerdlings, please leave some comments down below. If you are a fan of tea, uh, let us know what you thought of the Retro Refresh boys lending us their sage advice on what else we can do besides just tea. And, you know, let, yeah, let us know what, what you would put in here. And if you love it so much, we will put a link in the description below where you can get this. By the way, we are not sponsored by this whatsoever. I just thought it was a clever, clever idea, so I just wanted to yeah. share it off. Yeah, that's a that's a shame. Uh, hey guys, hit us up. <laughs> <Ta -da! laughs> so give the video a like if you happen to like it. Check out all of the guys over on the Retro Refresh. Hit the notification bell and subscribe. Not only here but all the way over there too. It, it's it, magic how yeah. it works. You don't have to get like on that. an airplane and go all the way over there. <laughs> and don't forget, pinkies out, as Lady Lacey reminds you. To pour all over the like button on Twitter, Instagram, and <laughs> Facebook, and go over to Tea Public and you know buy a shirt. Hopefully you don't spill the tea all over your shirt. Go over to the Retro Refresh, like he said, and check all of them out. They've got some great tea ideas and not so tea ideas and if we like it nerdlings we nerd it two cream one sugar burns. <laughs> don't burgle my house <laughs> bye nerdlings so are you british people that obsessed with your electric tea kettles that you need a travel one that squishes down super flat seriously guys on the plus side, comes in my favorite color. I'm afraid you have no ground to stand on there, Lacey. We heard your sister in the background saying she wants one. But I did it. Boom. Travel tea kettle. It's actually a pretty decent size. Uh, I know you guys mentioned microwave once, but I'm always, I'm, I'm curious. Do you guys use the microwave often to heat up cups of water? When you take it out, the water was like, still there was no bubbling like you'd get with normal um, boiling water um, and as soon as you would put your coffee in or anything it would just like a volcano you know, like these kids volcanoes when they put the um, the the um, what you call it the soda and the vinegar or whatever together it goes <laughs> that's what would happen and for some people the water would explode out like boiling hot water uh, and apparently what happens when you microwave water in a um, in a smooth vessel like a, a mug because it's so smooth there's nothing for the water to, to react to and the bubbles to come up from so as soon as you put the foreign object in there it suddenly interacts and all the bubbles occur so it's boiling but not in the normal way so anyway I, I always wonder do you guys use microwaves and if you do does that ever happen to you uh, that's why kettles they're just so easy I'm, I'm, I'm amazed you guys don't use them